Hello, this is Dave from Retired Time Productions, and this is another Magix Movie Edit Pro tutorial. But this is geared to actually saving some of your color grading and working on color grading for footage that's shot in a sort of raw format. In this case, it's footage that was shot in D-Log from my Mavic Pro drone. And you can see D-Log looks kind of washed out or overexposed but it's not really overexposed it's actually got more color information than normal and this gives you more freedom in post-production to color grade your information okay so let's get into that so stay tuned welcome to retired time productions now some of you might be aware that there are some LUTs out on the internet you can download and apply to your footage to automatically color grade and correct the colors in the footage. Unfortunately, Magix Movie Edit Pro does not use LUTs as far as I can tell. So, to get around that, what we can do is after we color grade, we can actually save a video effects template. And if we save a video effects template, we can use it later just like we would a LUT, and that way getting around the problem. So I'm going to give you an example. Let's move over here to this clip, which is a duplicate of the other clip. And what I'll do is highlight it, then right click, and I'm going to go and pick a save template that I have. So I'm going to go into video effects right here after right clicking, and then go to load video effects. And then I have a few templates in here. I have one from my run cam, and then I have one here for D-Log on my Mavic. And you'll notice I even put down that I use an ND16 filter. Uh, 100 was the ISO and 24 frames per second. So I know just what the settings are on the drone that I'm correcting for. So I'll just go ahead and select that one. And then open it. And wham! Look at the difference in that picture now. And so now, if I'm shooting with those particular settings, with that filter from then on, I can just apply that. And that gets me within the ballpark. And then if I want to do any more correction, I can go into my effects tab up here under video effects. And I can adjust brightness, contrast, gamma, color, uh, U, or whatever I want to do. But that's the general idea. So I've more or less created my own LUT lookup table. So let's go ahead and color grade a clip and then we'll save our settings as an effects template. So let's do this one over here. So you notice I had to highlight it first and then I put the marker on there so I could see what I was doing. If I put it over here that one's all already color graded. Alright so I put it on this one right here. First thing we'll do is let's just go ahead and add some saturation. So we're on the effects tab and we're going to stay there and we're going to be under video effects. So let's start with color and let's add some saturation. Now D-Log is really flat so I'm going to really bring up the saturation. I'm going to bring it up all the way to 90. This may be too much for some people but you can adjust it to your liking. Well there's 89. I'm going to leave it right there. Okay, the rest of the things we're going to do are going to be under Brightness Contrast. So let's go up to Brightness Contrast. Let's just add a tiny bit of contrast. Go from 50 to say 55. Don't need too much. It's hard to get it exact. I could just type it in. Okay, there's 55. Okay, so next let's do the Gamma. Now Gamma is one of the important things with D-Log. Uh, D-Log is so washed out looking, you can just bring the gamma down, and I bring it down somewhere around minus 50, minus 49, it's up to you. But you can see how that's already starting to look nice. That did more than the contrast did to bring out all the colors. Okay, now finally, we've got to do the brightness, or, you know, the lighting, and that's tricky for me. So what I do is I just go ahead and use auto exposure right here and this will take care of it. So I click auto exposure, wham, there you go. Now 
that's the final product for me. Now you might want to massage that a little and do a little more with it, but uh, it's up to you. So there's a lot of other things you can do with magics. I'm not going to get into that. I'm just simply doing color grading at this point. There's size and position. If you wanted to crop out a section, you could use section, for example, and I could crop out some of it just to get a certain part of the picture. But I'm not going to do that here. What I want to do next is save my settings. But before I do that, I think I'm going to save the project. So I'm just going to do save project just to make sure I don't lose anything. Okay, now that we've done our correction, let's go ahead and save the video effects. So I'll just right click, go to video effects, we're going to save it as a template, and we'll go to save video effects, and I'm just going to, if I select all like that, you can just see they're all selected already, and then continue I'm going to save it as D log test. Save. I'm going to say overwrite because I had that one there before. Okay, so now it's saved. Let's go over to this one, which I've now reset. And it's easy to reset one. You just go to video effects and then reset video effects, and it brings it back to its normal D log drabness. Okay, now let's go ahead and load in that template. So video effects, load video effects, pick our template, and then open it. And bam, there you go. And any time we need to do one of those clips that's in D-Log, we can apply that and then go back in and adjust whatever you want to adjust. Like maybe the saturation's too much for you. Just You can just bring it down like that. That's probably more natural the way it really looks in true nature. But to me it just really pops if you bring up that saturation a little bit. So it's up to you. It's all about what you want to do. What's the feeling you want to give to your video? You can now save your video templates and you don't have to worry about doing the same thing over and over. You can get it right off your template. So if you like this, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of this and you're not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. And also check the notify checkbox while you're doing that so you'll get my upcoming videos sent to your Gmail or wherever your email is so you'll know they're coming. Okay, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Here,